Right, it's getting slippery now. So though I was worried about going down the, where I've just come up, which I avoided, it can be just as dodgy coming this way by the look of it. I think I'll follow everyone else and go round this bit. So this is um, the end of the south side. Well, it's not the end. It's coming towards the tapering off of the gorge. Then in a minute I'll be going down a, a steepish track. And they've said it's muddy. And then after that... I'll be walking flat for quite a long time. A long black rock, velvet bottom. Then I have to climb up to the wireless masts. And that's when I'll decide whether to go to the truth point and go down that way. And go across and then down. Depends on time. Or I go through Longwood. So that's the options that will be once I've passed the masts. So someone's made another track here so that we've got an alternative. Of course you can't have a walk round that way. There's some more goats coming up. There's a lot of goats out today. Somebody dropped their jowl, look. See? You see, you're going to start seeing masts and gel instead of Coca Cola cans and bottles. That's going to be the new rubbish. Old masts and gel containers. Hand wash. Oh, hello, darling. Hello, how are you doing? Beautiful, having some sunbathing. There's lots of you today. Lots of you in the woods there. Lots of Maggie Goaty people. Look at you all. So here I am, walking this little track. You cannot not come out on a day like this. I mean, I could have just gone on a wood walk. But uh, I thought to myself, no. Get out, Sheila. The goats are out. My biggest risk was, of course, going on the public park bus. It's always a risk in normal conditions. Yeah. <coughs> You can pick up all sorts of nasty bugs on a bus, normally. So, it's a risk I've taken today, I'm sorry to say. Um, but I'm quite prepared to just lock myself in for a month. And just do... Not that it makes any difference. When that month is up, the virus isn't just going to say, Oh, come on, you can come on the bus again now. It's a load of rubbish, really. It really is. They don't exactly bang you from the buses. But they really want you to participate in cutting down the numbers that are going on the buses. And letting the key workers... Do you know what, today... They said, they said it was going to be one degrees. And it probably was at six this morning. There's a junction point here, by the way. And, but I put on my winter trousers, which I will need on the bus, because it's freezing on the bus. And I've put on a winter fleece, but only a light coat. 
So in a, later, when I go up over at bottom, or before, I might take my coat off, <coughs> or my jumper, one of them, <sighs> because it's quite warm. Over and out a minute, someone coming. Right, another short video. I'm over at Black Rock now. I did slip once. Uh, I was, I, fortunately, I wasn't on the rocks. I'd taken an easier path, I thought, because it was on the grass, but the grass was slippery. So I didn't hurt myself at all, but I could have broken my knee, but um, it was it's all right. Fortunately, I stopped myself in time. But uh, yeah, I got off the rocky path downhill. It was very muddy, very slippery. But I, set, I, I took a grass route, so I'm a little bit damp, and I don't know, I can't see whether it shows, if there's mud or anything, I think it was just wet. So I was here the other, about a month ago, I'd done a walk, and I went, came to, came this way and went that way but I didn't go by the gorge I went over past the gorge and then down to Cheddar another easier route I didn't go down the gorge um, there's a few what I call striders out clickers they got their sticks ticky ticky clicky clicky and they're not they're not what we call friendly people you know very very serious and uh, they don't smile or anything, they're just, they're ca I call them the striders. They're, they're, like, they're almost like, a, they take it so seriously, they're walking, that they, they can't smile. Or even say hello. So anyway, this is, um, this is Bat Rock. This is a valley, and there's lots of activity with hooves here. So, doesn't look that long ago either. So, they're either coming this way or coming back. This looks quite recent, these hooves. So, I mean, they could be up there. So, there's the um, limestone quarry there. And then we've got the quarry around the limestone kiln, I mean. We've got the quarry around this side. Some sort of hut thing there that could have been from the war. There's the black rock there, which is, has been eroding, actually. Has been eroding. There's another feature there. I reckon that's army. When you see something like that, I think that's from the war. That's like a pillar box. Um, I written from the look of the concrete. <sighs> yeah, I, later in usually December, I do the walk up the top there when the cows have all gone. That's what I normally do. <sighs> this way, I'm heading towards Velvet Bottom, which is uh, where the Romans and the Victorians arrived to. Get the get the ore out the out the lead out of the ground. Is it called puddling. Lots of puddling going on, I think. Yeah, there was a couple behind me. They were taking it very steady, but of course they that was said they called the striders and they've gone. They've gone. Didn't say hello. Didn't say goodbye. They, it was just I meet those sort when I'm out, and they think they're king of the. Walkers. That's the thing with them. They've got this superiority complex. Anyway, there's the uh, the quarry. It looks smaller. It seems to look smaller each year, actually. And some stuff has fallen down since I've got. If I looked at photographs I took, say, ten years ago, five years ago, even a year ago, it's a big chunk. It is coming down. It's not safe over there at all. People picnic on top of it. Cow. Because the cows could be just up around the corner. They could have been taken out. Who knows? So I just thought I'd do a little bit of uh, 
Black Rock on the reverse journey. Over and out. I'll take some photos. <laughs>